it is Sunday, May 26, 27, I'm not sure. I do know it's Sunday. So I'm going to do a new video diary. So this is the first video I've been able to record since coming back from vacation. Uh, we flew back from California 1 a.m. on Wednesday, which was fun. Um, yeah, we were in uh, not so sunny California for a week. Uh, they said in the second day that we were there, the news reported that it rained more that day than it usually rains for the whole month of May, which was fun. Um, we had a great time. We spent uh, four days in Disneyland, which was great. I had the best chicken of my life while we were there. It was at the uh, Plaza Inn. It was just so good. I think my coworkers are really tired of hearing about it because I just keep saying, oh, this chicken. I'm talking about chicken too much. Anyway, we had a great time at Disneyland uh, and California Adventures. Uh, then after that, we did the Warner Brothers tour, which was a lot of fun. It was really cool to see the, the back lot and everything. Then we went to the La Brea Tar Pits, which was 100% for Evan. It was cool, but you know, um, it was definitely an Evan thing. Uh, what else did we do? We went to UCLA, which was fun. I got to wander around the campus and get lunch for three hours, and Evan was watching this really rare video that's on a list that he likes. It was like two movies. Um, and that was actually part of the reason why I should just be going to California in the first place. And after that, we went to San Monica Pier. That was pretty cool because we uh, got to see uh, the Pacific Ocean and see the other coast, which was a lot of fun. Uh, then we went to the last bookstore in downtown LA and then we flew home. But we had a wonderful trip and I really miss sewing, so I'm glad I'm back. Uh, I started a new project last night. So this is for Evan's cousin's fiance. It was commissioned by her sister. And I'm taking their mother's wedding dress and I'm turning it into two clutch purses uh, for her and her sister, who's her maid of honor. And I'm, I'm kind of excited for this project. I mean, it was stressful. I'm cutting into somebody's wedding dress, somebody's mother's wedding dress. Um, so I spent pretty much Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday just staring at this thing and just kind of work, working up the courage to actually get started. What I have here is I took uh, the sleeves off the wedding dress and my plan is to use the lace to embellish the purses a little bit. My other goal was to try and make sure that if they choose to ever wear this dress for whatever reason, it's wearable. Uh, which is why I took both sleeves off so at least it's symmetrical. And what I have here is I have the little lace pieces that I've been cutting out. So I have four of these. There I put one on the front, one on the back for each purse. And that's pretty much as far as I've gotten so far. My friend Erica is coming over in about 20 minutes or so. Uh, I'm measuring her for her next commission. Uh, which is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to that one too. Uh, but I probably won't be starting it until August at this point. But I'm getting the measurements taken care of, so I, whenever the fabric comes in, as soon as I get time, I can get started. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, put this all away so it stays safe. And then I'll probably fill out the rest of the time uh, just doing some prep work for the commission I'm doing after this, which is for my friend in California, whose measurements I took while we were in California, so that worked out. Uh, and I'll probably just get them all into a spreadsheet. By the time I'm done tidying and doing that, it'll be time to take measurements. So, this is where we're at. Okay, so today is Tuesday, and the purses are done. I finished them off last night. I'm very happy with how they look. My client is happy, so all is well. So now I just have to hem the bottom of the wedding dress so that I can send this back off to my client, and it's all set. Now, I don't know if this is actually gonna work out, but if I get the dress hemmed in a decent amount of time and I don't feel burnt out afterwards, I'm hoping I will be able to get a little bit of work done on my sack back dress uh, and then I will be able to start fresh tomorrow with uh, the next commission but hopefully I'll be able to squeeze a little bit of work in. We'll see.
So you know what's hot when your first thought when you come home is, I need to get a freeze pop. Alright, so I ran to the post office and I shipped off the dress and the two purses, so that's good. I was going to try and get a start my next commission, but I don't think that's happening. I have to go to work pretty soon. Uh, so I'm probably going to clean up a bit, that way I can hit the ground running uh, the next time I have time, really. Uh, so that's where we're at right now. I'm doing the boring stuff right now. I am taking care of my bookkeeping spreadsheet. It's very boring. I don't usually record stuff like about this, but I figure it's part of what I'm doing. It's business related, so I might as well. Uh, what I do is I keep track of uh, my income, so whatever sales I make during the year. I keep track of my expenses. I keep track of my assets, my supplies. All that really important, scary sounding stuff. Uh, that way when tax season comes around, I can just hand my stuff over to my accountant and call it a day. Uh, but that takes a bit of discipline. Uh, so what I do is, well, I say what I do, I don't always do this, I'm very bad. But what I do is I will try at the end of the month to go through everything I spent. I will take out my folder of receipts and go through it. I'll compare it to my bank account and I'll make sure I have everything recorded. I record uh, the day I bought something, what it was, where I bought it, how much it cost, how much the shipping was. That was just really, sorry, that was my air freshener. How much was the shipping and how much was uh, the sales tax. And of course the total. I also try and split things into categories like supplies, uh, office supplies, accessories, my account and equipment, all that kind of stuff, which makes me know where I'm spending my money, which is helpful. Uh, and I keep it all on my spreadsheet here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to try and figure out what's going on uh, at the end of the year. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now, uh, which is helpful because I did just ship off a commission, so it kind of makes a nice little end to the day. I'm doing it with bag of chips and a jar, a literal jar of salsa, uh, which is kind of my reward for getting through this. I'm also downloading an audiobook. <laughs> One other thing that I'm doing is I'm doing this in my dining room instead of in my selling room because I feel like this is just me, but I feel like I concentrate a little bit better here when it comes to this kind of stuff. I feel like I always end up doing my accounting, bookkeeping at my dining room table, and that's just because this room feels better for that, I guess. It's a little bit, just the lighting and the, I don't know, it just works for me. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing for tonight. And then hopefully I'll be able to start sewing this weekend for the next mission. It's Saturday. And actually, no, it's not. Well, technically it is. It's Friday, technically Saturday. And uh, since I already showed you bookkeeping, I figured I'd show you the other thing that I do during my week, which is video editing. Um, I'm not as fast as I wish I was with these, but that's because I'd rather be sewing. But this is kind of part of the fun, I guess. I've completely taught myself how to use uh, the video editing software that we have. And that's how I get videos to you on a semi-regular basis. So I'm very behind with this one. I'm actually editing the Violet Baudelaire commission video, which I took a while ago. So, you know, it happens. I guess it all comes down to your priorities, I guess. But anyway, um, I should actually be hanging the bed soon because it's pushing 12.30 and I have to work tomorrow. Uh, but... Now we're getting there, and hopefully the next time I see you guys, it will be when I'm getting started on my next commission. So I'll see you next time. Bye!